Hello dear students, today we will see types of risk in Devika's Commerce and Management Academy. You know that risk, without risk you won't get any returns. Risk and return, both are interlinked. How it is interlinked? I will show you through a graph. So it's like this graph we are taking. This is risk. On x axis we have taken risk and return on y axis. Okay. If you take risk, you get returns more. So that you are drawing through this. If my risk is here, return is also here only. When both are meeting at one place, risk is this much and return is also this much. If I take more risk, more risk, then return is also more. Same like demand and supply. Did you remember the graph? Same graph. Return and risk both are interlinked. Risk, take risk more, you get the return more. Okay. So, this is what the risk and return. Now, we will see today types of risk. What kind of risks are there? Mainly, risks are divided into two parts. One is systematic risk. Systematic risk. This you can say it is non-diversifiable. Systematic risk is related to the economic conditions and market conditions. Economic conditions, market conditions, is it in your hands? No. You can't escape. You have to bear it. Everyone is common for this. You may be having lots of strategies. But economic conditions, market conditions, political conditions, geographical conditions and uh, international some rules and regulations are changing when it is changing you have to accept it you can't do anything else so that is why we say it as a systematic risk you can't do anything you have to bear it non-diversifiable you can't diversify the risk that is why we say it as non-diversifiable risk so this systematic risk is divided into three parts one is interest rate risk market risk inflation risk let's see first interest rate risk Based on the interest interest rate, the risk will be increasing or decreasing. Suppose say I have purchased equity shares. Equity shares. The equity shares interest is always variable. It won't be consistent. It will be changing according to the conditions. It will be changing according to the profits and, uh, and the position of the organization. So that you can say it as the interest rate risk. Interest may be variating, increasing or decreasing. Whereas you can take an example of even uh, banks also, Andhra Bank, State Bank of India, Bank of Baroda, any bank you take. These interest rates are decided by the government. It's not in your hands. You kept FD, fixed deposit. Interest rates are increasing or decreasing. That's the risk. It's not in your hands, right? So we say it as an interest rate risk. Another one is market risk according to the market conditions. Market conditions, sometimes market is boom, sometimes it's down. Whatever market is going, market conditions, you know stock market also many times you will be finding this. So according to that risk will be there. This risk is also not in your hands. Market risk according to the market conditions boom or whatever it may be according to that you may find this risk that's market risk another one is inflation risk inflation means continuous raising in the prices price hiking continuously that is inflation inflation is also not in your hands though you are getting some returns though you are getting some returns that returns may not be reaching to the inflation rate my rate is, suppose say, my interest or my income is 6% I am receiving. I have to see the inflation rate also. How much is the inflation rate? If inflation rate is 4%, no problem. I am getting here 2% profit. If inflation rate is, suppose say, 9%, then... 3% is loss for me. I am getting 6% but inflation rate is increasing drastically. 9% so it's a loss for me. So based on the inflation risk also, based on the inflation rate will have the risk. So you need to follow. It's not in your hand this one also. So these three are 
not in our hands that is why these three risk means interest rate risk market risk inflation risk these three risk comes under the systematic risk based on the economic market conditions and also political and whatever government is deciding based on that that is systematic risk there is another risk unsystematic opposite to the systematic unsystematic risk is not related to the outsiders it is related to the inside of organization it is in the hands of the organization the organization can control this risk it is in their hands that is why we say unsystematic risk what kind of risk comes under the unsystematic three kinds of risk one is financial risk business risk liquidity risk let's discuss each and every one financial risk financial risk means whatever you are putting your investments in somewhere or how you are using that investment if you are investing somewhere or somebody has invested in your organization so how you are using it based on that you will find some risk and here one more important thing also sometimes you may be uh, engaging with the credit transactions also they may return they may not return it is also in the hands of the organization they have to handle it very carefully so that is why this comes under the unsystematic risk in the same way next to business risk business activities how will be the business activities suppose say example will take uh, purchases and sales or sales only will take sales sales are increasing then risk will be no risk because sales are increasing on the contrary when sales are decreasing automatic risk will be more example i have taken only one one incident that is sales there are many incidents technological changes are there and also market prices are increasing or decreasing inflation is also there all these things comes together business risk so what the company has to do is here they have to be very careful in handling the each and every concept of the organization whether it may be sales advertising or storing and marketing anything it can be it's in the hands of organization only mark that is business risk and uh, third one is liquidity risk liquidity risk means they have to keep the minimum liquidity in the organization how this happens when sales and purchases are happening properly when you are able to handle the sales and purchases in a proper way then only this risk can be covered suppose say there are no sales so sales are very less so automatically liquidity will be very less and uh, all, also i sold it but it's on credit basis and uh, the debtors are not paying the amount that is also risk, liquidity risk so it's in the hands of the organization how to handle this liquidity risk to overcome this they have to plan some strategies if they have if they plan properly and if they implement it then only they can survive so these are the risk once again let me give you recap total risks are two types systematic and system systematic means it is not in the hands of the organization socio economic conditions and government organization rules and regulations it is in the market conditions not in the hands of organization the whereas unsystematic is in the hands of the organization they can control it this is uncontrollable this is controllable under the systematic we have we discussed interest rate risk market risk and also inflation and here financial business and liquidity risk able to remember topic is very simple but also interesting and also important so next class we'll have practicals stay connected and don't forget to share this video check out the playlist practice good luck